Well, uh, I think they, they're starting to understand. Uh, I'll tell you a quick story. I, I, did, I looked up the stats of our defense in January. Uh, I might be wrong here, but I think we were 246. And I, I believe there's 340 Division One schools. And that's not very good, uh, last time I checked. At the end of February, going into this, into this uh, tournament, we're 57th. So, and, and we got healthy, we're healthy. And that's important, but I think guys are understanding the roles. I think they're understanding the defense better, the rotations better. Um, they, they're playing with a, a clear head. They're playing with great confidence. And I think that's our job as coaches. Our coaches, we got to get them to play with great confidence and not afraid to make mistakes. And, um, and, I, and I think our defense has showed that. And our three-point defense right now, defending the three, I, th I believe it's either 57 or 54, right in that range as well, where we were two in the 240s again. So definitely uh, people say defense wins championships and defense, you know, we're seven and one playing great defense. And um, now if we can start rebounding the ball like this, I think we're gonna be in really good shape. Coach, you had a tough preseason schedule. And then you had a couple bumps at the beginning of the league schedule. Um, how does that affect your first year? Is this starting to become your team now? I, I want it to be my team. I've always have wanted to be my team, and you know everybody I talk to always says to me, um, they're not your guys. And I always said, I want them to be my guys. Well, you can't do it in a year. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do things that, you know, that have never been done. You know, individual meetings with them once a week, whatever we needed to do to get to this point, I wanted to do it. And I knew we were gonna go through a lot of growing pains. And they weren't gonna understand some of the things that I wanted to do. And at this point, we're starting to really gel together as a coach and a coaching staff and as players, especially nine seniors. And um, it, it's, been, it's been a fun progression to watch. It's been a wild journey, don't get me wrong, a lot of peaks and valleys. But we always stayed the course, we never got too negative, and we wanted to stay positive because we wanted to be the best team we could be by the end of the year. Not at all. We, we got to still go inside. We still got to get to the foul line. We're a very good team when we can mix it up. When we can make some threes and get to the foul line, we're that much difficult to beat. And um, if we can get a good balance, instead of relying on three so much, it, it's better for us in the long run. Because who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know if we're gonna, all those threes are going to be falling again. So we, we have to be prepared to put it inside. We have to be prepared to drive the ball. And these guys got to be prepared to make free, free throws. You know, I think Jeff is a little sick too. He's coughing a lot out there, and um, you know, he gave us 16 minutes, uh, 11 rebounds. That's pretty. It's pretty impressive. And his wide body, and, his, and for a big guy, his footwork's getting so much better. And um, you know, he finished a couple times, which is good. And typically, he's, he's been making his free throws. He struggled a little bit today, but Jeff Pelage and Jake, um, as sophomores, are now juniors. I you know it's an old cliche. Coaches say that, but this late in March, they are, and they're playing like it. One more question for Coach. Any more? Uh, I mean, Stony Brook came out and you were big in that Stony Brook game. How do you take them out of the game earlier? At least slow it down where Stony Brook, they're going to have more fans tomorrow. How do you take them out of the game like you did uh, Harper to make that non impact? The, 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 the answer to that question is I don't know. But because I've only been preparing for Hartford, I haven't even thought about Stony Brook. So when I start watching film after this and go through the, the night, ask me that question tomorrow, I'll be more prepared for it. Because it, it's funny, if you start looking ahead, that's where you get trapped. And that's when you go home early. And I think that's something Jay Wright taught me really well. Just take one game at a time. And if you start looking ahead, you're only gonna get knocked down. And at this point of the year, you don't wanna get knocked down. You don't wanna go home early, especially when you're nine seniors. So that's my answer.